A lot of people ask me if I um, have a problem with having multiple color monitors in the grading suite. And actually, I'm really not in favor of this. Uh, generally, um, you have to make sure if you have more than one color monitor in the grading suite that the monitor is precisely balanced to match the other one. Otherwise, the uh, client will always be saying, well, I like the color on this one, but I don't like the color on that one and things like that. And this is what I've had happen to me. And so um, in that situation, I generally prefer to have one monitor for reference in the grading suite and that is all. Yes, um, I generally check my calibration of the monitors once a month. Uh, this is something that I just do as uh, per schedule and make sure generally that they hardly ever drift at all, but I just want to go over and just make sure that everything is uh, the way I want it to be. When grading compressed files, it's always important not to do a tremendous amount of secondary color correction or qualifications in the uh, material. The problem is, is that you can change, you can do a qualifier, you can change the color slightly, but the minute you change the luminance in something that's qualified, you'll see the compression artifacts come out. And this is something you want to avoid. So generally what I do is I will, uh, do as much as possible with the primary color correction and only when necessary and very carefully do I use the qualifiers with compressed material. Yeah, for new colorists, when you're going to start on a project, it's generally a good idea to meet with the customer and see what is required, and then also what they want the material to look like in the end. Also, it's a good idea to get the material long before you have the grading session with the customer, so this way you can review it and you can identify any shots that might cause problems. Another thing too is uh, when you approach a project with your customer in this fashion, they see a very professional approach and then it leads to a far more um, stress-free atmosphere in the grading suite. When grading documentaries, what I generally do is I um, look over the material first and then I will go through and establish a grade for the most uh, difficult or challenging shots in the project. And then afterwards, I grade the other material as well, just to match it up. And then often, uh, if it's some of it is film-based material, I will do scene-by-scene -scene grain reduction to try to smooth out the material and match it back and forth between the other materials so there's not that much of a change. Sometimes we want to have that change, but sometimes we want to minimize it. And in this situation, this is what we can use. So there we have it. So for more tips and tricks, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on my YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also uh, think about subscribing to my Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe so you can find out about all the new videos that will be coming up too. Have a great day.